what we have here are uh, Sigma took the amazing art series lenses. They're still still photography uh, lenses that just came out last few years, uh, and you know these are lenses that are really pushing the boundaries on how high how high a quality an optic you can make for an unbelievably affordable price, considering how good they are. Uh, so they ported that design over to a cine-style uh, housing with fully manual and really high-quality top-notch mechanics. Uh, so when you bring these over to the cinema world, you're getting the resolution, the contrast, the clarity, the lack of distortion, um, the perfect bokeh, you know, all of the things that people love about the art series and the still line is now being translated into cinema. And, you know, personally, I'm really excited about that because not only are they unbelievably sharp and beautiful, but they're also, because they're meant for still, they're full frame. And with the way things are going now in the digital cinema world, there's a transition happening from super 35 size frame to the full frame market. Cameras like the Monstro, uh, the Venice, the Sony Venice, uh, even the Alexa 65 and some of its cropped, uh, center cropped uh, modes are all full frame cameras. And these are full top level professional cameras. It's not, it's not, res it's not resigned to the world of you know, Cinevise DSLRs or Cinevise mirrorless cameras anymore. These are real tools that are needing a full frame lens and legacy cinema lenses just won't cover. So the new crop of lenses are really like going to find a, a really like good home uh, going forward. So the speed in combination with the quality of the image wide open, you know, it just opens up a whole new world of, of options. You know, we can shoot things that are more sensitive and delicate that can't survive the bright lights like uh, flowers and animals and things like that in high speed in, you know, in controlled environments and without cooking them for all intents and purposes. But, you know, those are, that becomes a really interesting uh, uh, option now. There's, there's new things you can do that were not impossible before, but uh, most lenses except for the most expensive lenses uh, cinema lenses like the Master Primes or the Leica Sumaluxes that are actually sharp, wide open. Um, you used to have to trade speed for quality in the cinema world just because of how expensive they are. But now you're bringing something that is lower cost but maintaining the quality. So you have this nice place where the average shooter can achieve things that were just completely out of reach in the past.